Your user folder contains all of your custom settings and objects, your memory banks, preferences, user areas, etc. Most of the time, you can update to a new version of Composer Tools Pro simply by replacing the new user folder with your old one. Export your current user folder. Open the new version of Composer Tools Pro. Delete the default user folder. And just replace it with your old one. And you're done. All of your settings have been transferred. So this is how you'll update Composer Tools Pro most of the time. But on rare occasions, MIDI Kinetics needs to release an update that will make user folders between versions incompatible. For example, when we add certain new features to the user folder, or to fix bugs inside the user folder itself. Use the Composer Tools Pro Update Utility to convert your data to the new format. The update utility is very simple. You place your old user settings into the update folder, press import, and the data is converted and imported into the new user folder below. And now you have a new user folder that's compatible with the new version of Composer Tools Pro. You'll still need to manually transfer your custom objects in the fader space, thumb key, and user space, but there's a very fast way to do it directly in the update utility. So let's see how. Begin by exporting your current user folder. Open the update utility. And place it into the update folder to be scanned. Press Import, and the data has been converted and transferred into the new user folder below. Next, you probably have some custom objects in your thumb key, user space, and fader space. There's no need to manually transfer them one by one. While you're here, just replace the thumb key, user space, and fader space in the new user folder with your old ones. There's no issue of version compatibility because these objects were created by you, of course. And we're done. Let's export our new user folder and bring it into the new version of Composer Tools Pro. Your settings are now compatible with the new version. The user folder in the update utility comes pre-installed with one memory bank. In this next example, here I'm preparing to bring in my user folder, but the problem is that I'm using two banks of memory. And the update utility is telling us this, not enough memory, add more memory banks to your new user folder. So I'll just add another memory bank to the new user folder. The error is resolved, and all the settings will now be transferred. The update folder is smart, and it scans the contents for things that can be updated. So you can, in fact, just use the update utility to convert individual banks one at a time. Say, for example, if you download some presets from the community, and they were created with an earlier version. In this example, I downloaded a bank of presets from the community. But when I installed it, Composer Tools Pro warned me that it's not compatible. 
So I'll just open up the update utility. And this time, I'll just place the one bank by itself into the update folder. And import. Now there's no need to export the entire user folder. Just open it up and export the bank by itself, and it can be brought into the new version. A couple last tips for transferring your custom objects in the fader space, thumb key, and user space. Since Composer Tools version 1.1 and later, these three areas are contained together within a single folder called Custom Areas, so there's no more need to copy them one by one. Just copy the entire Custom Areas folder. And finally, if you do end up copying the custom folders one by one, you may find that in the new version of Composer Tools Pro, the thumb key gets hidden behind the user space. Just right-click on the thumb key and say Bring to Front.